best advice that I can give you if you haven't tried a pair of Doc Martens is to go to a store or a or reseller like Journeys or Shoe and nail down your perfect size. And what I mean by perfect size, when it comes to Doc Martens, traditionally it's better to have a more snug fit than to have a pair of shoes or boots that are baggy. So try to locate that best fit. Now when it comes to different brands of shoes, typically there's at least three different sizes that they will use for reference when people are buying. One's the US size, one's the UK size, and then one's a European size. Doc Martens, as I said before, you want to talk UK size when it comes to Doc Martens. It's just a clearer message. It's a clear message when, when you're talking, when you're working with somebody in the store, regardless of what country you're in. It's a clearer message when you're trying to find one uh, online, resell, resold if you have that information and you feel confident about it. Also, when it comes to those three different sizes, uh, like I said, at least some countries will have the Japanese size and the Chinese size and so forth. But let's just talk about those three in general. Different companies like Reebok or Converse might have what they translate those size to be and they could be different. So if you are a European 43 in Converse, that doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna be a UK 9 in Doc Martens. So sometimes that translation is not seamless. You wanna go and do it per the brand. But within the Doc Martin brand, it is definitely consistent. If I had to recommend a shoe to try on and get started with Doc Martens, I would definitely recommend starting out your size journey and finding the right size of a made in Asia. As I said, you want to work your way down, you don't want to work your way up. So if you so typically if you have a pair of made in Asia that fits you perfectly, you should be able to find made in England's that fit you close to that. There's three things to keep in mind. The last, the material used, and of course, uh, the length and size of the material. This is a modern, made in England, with uh, the, it's commando wax, CF steed leather on this. So the fit on here it's going to be a little bit different than the Made in Asia. So I find that even on modern Made in England, they tend to be a tad bit shorter, but very similar in widths. So comparing a modern Made in England to a modern Made in Asia, this is a little bit different now. This is not leather. This is heavy military canvas. This is more the traditional fit that you would find on even uh, most of the leathers that are released today. So, tends to be a little bit wider and a little bit longer. This is a vintage from the 90s, made in England. Universally, I find, and even if you compare the soles, that the last used in the made in England's are a tad bit narrower and a tad bit shorter. So, you could always stretch a shoe, but you can't contract it. For me, I fall that a UK 8 is my perfect size, but when it comes to made in England, sometimes I have to get them stretched. All my shoes are UK 8, so I stick to that, and then if they are a little bit smaller, I work with my cobbler to have them stretch properly. This is a Vintage 101 with suede and this tends to be, uh, these suede ones tend to be a little bit different and I think it's because the suede kind of gives a little bit more but I didn't have to stretch these. So the length ended up being very similar to a modern made in England but the width was a tad bit narrow. But like I said, because of the material, they, it works and it fit fine without any stretching. Here it gets a little bit different. 
so this is a vintage made in England. This is the Red or Dead. This is from either the late 70s or early 80s. And the last used on these seems to be very similar to the Hawking's Astronaut, where instead of having a bulbous front, it has a sharper front. It's not like the pointy toad, but it is a bit sharper. To compare that, I have a modern made in England. This is the engineered garment collaboration that they did a couple years ago. Very much like a uh, 1461, except look at the toe box. Very similar to these vintage. See, it has that pointed kind of feel. These end up fitting me perfectly, as do those. So they both have uh, very similar lengths, which I would say compared to a modern made in Asia. Last but not least, steel toes. So this is not a safety steel toe, but it is a steel toe shoe, obviously. Uh, and one thing that's interesting with steel toes that I find is that they have a bigger toe box, obviously to have that even more bulbous front, but they give me more space. So I think at first going back to, cause I, I, I I uh, wore a fair amount of steel toes back in the day and going back to trying to get an older pair, I was worried that I wouldn't be able to stretch them out. And in my experience, I found even the vintage steel toes have more room in the toe box. So these are a made in Asia that was done several years ago. So I would expect them to be a similar last to these, uh, obviously uh, as a shoe, uh, similar last to those, but these actually even have more room and it's kind of nice. And I, uh, I've tried on steel toes and even vintage ones and it ends up having that bigger toe box. So from a high level, you have modern made in Asia, you have modern made in England, you have vintage made in England. Modern made in Asia, try to find your fit in modern made in Asia and work from there. Then if you end up having, if you end up getting a pair of vintage made in England's and they end up being a little bit too tight, you can have them professionally stretched. In conclusion, modern made in Asia, I see as more the standard fit of Doc Martens. Know that Vintage made in England uh, will generally run a tad bit narrower and a tad bit shorter and even the arc and how it is molded around the heel for a modern made in England is a tad bit different. So your foot tends to kind of scoot more forward. This is what I found in all the dozens of pairs that I've owned. When it comes to sizing, uh, I did a video on size basics. I might elaborate a little bit more. Uh, I'll just throw it up right here so you guys can see it. I definitely go through that so you know where to find the sizes of Doc Martens. And maybe this will help aid you with getting second hand Doc Martens or just kind of getting to know how they would fit you. It, it, it seems to be that some people can be in between sizes, but pushing it in between sizes is something I don't necessarily recommend. Uh, you can have a shoe stretch, a Doc Martin stretch, a half a size bigger, but a whole size, uh, I wouldn't suggest that. So if you end up finding your dream pair of Doc Martens and they're just one size too small, I would, I would definitely take a beat and uh, be excited that you actually found them, but I would not go ahead and, <laughs> and purchase them. With all the awesome designs that uh, the, the team is doing, that they're pushing through the Asian factories as well as the English factories, chances are they're gonna come out with something that's even better and even cooler, uh, and you will find the best shoe. 
So stick to your size. Uh, have you know, be informed about it. Only shop from trusted sources or recommendations from trusted people, and you should be in good shape.